My name is Grant from Altoona. Don't forget to watch me tonight, audition on Master Chef, 7 p.m. on Fox 17. What up, what up? Hey! Hey there, big fella. Hi. How we doing? Good. What are you cooking for us? Today? I'm going to do a roasted sweet corn agnolotti. I'm going to have a lemon chai butter sauce with that. You know, agnolotti is not an easy thing. It's a certain kind of a ravioli. There's a lot of technique. You have fresh pasta sitting, which looks good. Pasta has the right texture. The water has to be salted. There's a lot of variables here. Absolutely. The corn in the agnolotti, is it in the filling or outside? It is going to be in the filling. Uh, what so else right is in now, the filling? Right now, I just have the roasted corn with a little bit of salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. This looks really good to me. Yeah, I, I agree. Know. And this lady is who? This is my mother, Laura. Hi, Mom. Very Are nice Are you proud of you. your son? More than I could ever tell you. Aww. He's very humble. Humble. He's very giving. Giving. He's very dedicated. OK, so he can be a priest. Is he a good cook, <laughs> though? <laughs> Best of luck, senor. Uh, thank, thank you, Joe. You. you know, I've, I've always had uh, a knack for cooking, I guess. And I, I really love not only cooking, but sharing that with people through social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those things. And I'd always get just this really great feedback from people like, oh my gosh, you got to open a restaurant. I'm like, guys, there's a lot that goes into, into opening a restaurant. I don't know about that, but there was one thing that was just, you know, always there. Somebody would say, there's one specific person that would always tell me, hey, you got to try out for MasterChef. You got to do this. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just Grant from Altoona, <laughs> you know, just cooking in, you know, in, in my kitchen at home. I don't know that MasterChef, you know, I don't know that I'm, I'm right for MasterChef, but, uh, you know, it got to the point, I, I love Gordon Ramsay. He's been somebody that I've always looked up to, you know, in the cooking world and, and just how he not only is able to make food, but especially how he, you know, brings his family into it. There's a lot of those home videos that he does that I watched a lot of when I was going through a really tough time in my life. Um, you know, and, and that's what really gave me the, the confidence to, to get in the kitchen, do some things that were way outside anything that I would have ever imagined that I can do. And so, you know, sitting there watching those videos, seeing Gordon cook, and I just said, you know what, I got to do it. I got to give it a chance. Got to figure out how the heck I can audition for this. And, you know, that's really what it came down to is I, I, I found where I needed to, to apply. And, you know, from that point, it just kind of <laughs> kind of went on. <laughs> Obviously, I want to impress all of these judges. You know, they have all of these accolades. They, they are incredible chefs in their own right. Uh, but Gordon is really who I want to impress. He's the person that, you know, really taught me how to cook like I cook now. And so if I were able to get a yes from him, you know, and get an apron, that would be, you know, that's good enough for me. <laughs> that, 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 that works. So I would say Gordon is definitely who I'm looking most forward to, uh, to having and trying my dish. And, you know, hopefully he gives me a yes. You know, being able to audition not only for myself, not only for Iowa, but the entire Midwest was something uh, that's just really, really cool. It's, you know, not only just being there for myself and wanting to show everybody what I can do, but showing what the Midwest can do. You know, we're seeing us fly over country, you know, wave to us as, as you fly by, but there's a lot of really good food happening. There's a lot of really great cooks within the Midwest. And so the ability to show that to the entire country that, hey, the Midwest is here to play. You know, we're, we're here to throw down as well. You know, it's just the opportunity of a lifetime. You know, I've, I've spent so much time honing my, my skills in my home kitchen, and that's really easy. You know, it's, I'm, I'm giving a, a dish to my wife and, and to my son, and they always enjoy it and give me great feedback. But being in that kitchen, under those lights, so many people behind you, above you, in front of you, just cheering you on, uh, it's intense. You know, it's something that I, I thought I was just gonna be able to fly right through, be okay, hey, you know, Grant, keep your head down, you'll be just fine. But the moment Gordon Ramsay walks through those doors, it is, <laughs> you know, it's, it's game over. It's, you know, this is one of the most accomplished chefs in the entire world, and he's standing right in front of me. And in probably about 10 minutes, I'm gonna have to serve him a dish and, and see what he thinks. So, you know, it was one of the absolute joys of my life to be able to do that, but I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't scary. <laughs> Finding out that Graham Elliott was going to be our guest judge was incredible because he's one of the OGs of MasterChef. You know, he has been a judge for, for many seasons of that show. He's huge in the Midwest. I mean, Chicago is where he calls home now. He's got Michelin stars. He's got James Beard Awards. You know, this guy is everything, and he's what the Midwest is all about. So being able to, to cook for him is going to be something really fun. I'm super excited uh, to be able to show my food, not only to those three judges we all know and love, but, of course, to Graham as well. Tonight, welcome back, everybody, to the United Tastes of America. The region competing tonight is the Midwest. And we have another guest judge, Graham Elliott. Do not let the Midwest down. The regional audition rounds continue. Pound it out, baby. If this dish doesn't earn me an apron, I'm not sure I understand what you're looking for on MasterChef. As the Midwest cooks compete. That looks like home. For a coveted white apron. It's symbolic of the Midwest and the heartland. The passion's there. I can taste that passion.
This dish is a wow dish. The sauce just tastes so bland. Fingers crossed it tastes better than it looks.